Hi, this is Will Harvey of Finelli Inventory. I'm going to give a quick demonstration uh, of how to create a sales order with tens or hundreds or even thousands of items uh, really quickly, just like typing in numbers into an Excel document. Switching to Finelli Inventory, I begin to create a sale just by clicking on the New Sale link here, type in a name for the sale, come up in a minute, pick the customer. Now one way of creating the sale is just by typing in words that are in the description of the item and then picking the item. So if I type blue, berry, I only have one item that has blueberry in it which is a blueberry pie. If I just type the word blue then I pick between quite a number of items that have the word blue in them. Similarly for red, Uh, or I could type in the number from the product ID. Some people have memorized their product IDs. So if I type in 1, 2, 3, 4, I get to see the items that contain uh, the number 1, 2, 3, 4. So that wasn't all that bad, except that's actually the slow way to create a sales order. Um, some customers have told us that this way feels like looking through a keyhole because they're always looking through that little dialog. The fast way is if you click up here on products view, you get to pick your items just like you're looking at an Excel spreadsheet. Here are all of the items that I have. I can just go through the list and type in the number of items that I want to include in my order. Two of those, five of these, ten of these, five of these, go through the list, three, five of these, and so forth. If I want to filter it down to just the items that contain the word green, I type in green up here, not all of the items I'm looking at contain the word green. Take through five of these, five of these, five of these, and so forth. The rows in green here are the rows that are included in my sales order. So, if I switch back to the sales order, all of those rows that I just typed in numbers are now combined onto this sales order here. I'm ready to make the, to ship this sales order, except I have this one that's showing up in red, meaning didn't have any in stock, so I'm actually going to zero that one out so I can go ahead and save the sales order. Go to shipments, update my shipment to match the sales order. Ah, looks like I didn't have any of these items either, uh, so it's asking me where I'm going to draw them from. I only have them in cases, but I'm um, In my example, I just wanted to ship individual items, so I just zeroed that out. And now save the order and ship it. That's all there is to it. Uh, that's how you can create orders if you have a large number of items in the sales order.